Hi, it's Russ from Protos Expert, and I've got myself a copy of the new Slate Virtual Mix Rack. This has been uh, on the cards for probably a year now. I remember when it was first announced some time ago, and it's eventually shipped. And I'm going to give you a quick show and tell. And if you want to zip on to the audio bit of this, the sort of examples, uh, then press the button at the top right of this screen now, and you can just zip past all my rambling and just have a listen to some stuff. And the thing is pretty straightforward, the VMR thing. The, is the VMR is pretty straightforward. It gives you access to four units plus a free unit called Revival. Uh, nothing religious there, uh, just a sort of harking back to the old days of mixing desks. So I'm just going to quickly tell you what they are. If you haven't guessed already, most of you would be able to say this without even watching this video. We've got a Neve style preamp uh, EQ uh, 1073 style, uh, or like the old boards with an extra band in it in there as well. Uh, then we've got a FET style compressor, which you can't see at the moment, uh, based upon 1176s basically. And with it came with some some modifications and we could, we could bring that in in a while. Then we have a SSL style 4000 series desk EQ part of it and the filters, no gating uh, and, and dynamics, just the EQ part of it. And then we also, as I say, have the revival combination of lots of their research to give you this kind of nice shimmer and thickness. And each one of them can be used on its own and they've all got their own presets independently. Then you can use them all together in a group and save them. And it ships some pretty nice some presets to get you going. Uh, what's really nice straight away is you can move stuff around. You can move that there or there. Just lovely the way that that works like that. That's very nice. You can turn them on and off and bypass them. And you can also click on any of them at any time and just check the automation there as well. There's the automation info for all of the units that is currently sitting in that rack. And we can see the automation info there. If we want to use that at any point. Then of course we can then go in here and map that in our DAW. So as I say, the, the N series is a, a Neve style EQ and preamp, give you a bit of gain and stuff and a bit of crunch if you want it. And that will give you low, mid, high mid and top shelving. And then there's a, a filter at the bottom there that goes from 300 and down. And there's this drive circuit you can turn on and off and then a line level gain there you can use as well. And then we have the FG401. It's a VCA style compressor. Gives you threshold attack release ratio, makeup gain and mix. So you can use it in parallel. And what's nice as well is it's got two different circuits. It's got a uh, circuit one and circuit two is slightly smoother, more silky. And then we have, as I say, a emulation of a, a SSL 4000 uh, with the top, high mid, low mid, low, and then a filter. And I say, but no dynamics. So, and straight away, the first thing I'm gonna say, what's missing from this rack right now is a gate. It would be great to get a gate in there straight away, uh, especially when you're mixing live drums and stuff like that. So uh, that's one for the to-do list. And then, as I say, we also have the 1176 style. Uh, which gives you input, output, attack, release, and mix. And I say, finally, you've got this unit called Revival, which isn't based on anything. It's uh, just a nice little freebie they're giving away. It gives you some some warm bottom end and some shimmer, uh, some some top end sparkle if you want it. If you want to say, take stuff out, you just exit again and it goes. Now, another a few other nice features. You've got an A and B, so you can, you can load up two presets and then compare them. So as I say, we could, we could load up this uh, kick drum now and just put that into... To solo for a second and we'll just put this on for a bar of bar or two of kick there and we can go through the, the full presets here so we could load in a, a full kick instead metal kick Big rock kick. Move that down here instead. 
we wanted to. So we could have the V we could have the compressor before or after. We could put 1176 star compressor in instead. Turn that one off. So it's all pretty straightforward like that. Now the second thing I'm missing on this as well, and you'll find this, especially if you put a whole mix with this on it, is if you want to bypass the whole lot, let's put this on now. The minute I bypass them, you can see we've got a gain problem, a gain change, and, and those of you, a lot of you, uh, are, are not very impressed if when you're trying to ch check out uh, your settings that the gain changes and there's a perceived uh, difference just because of the gain change. Now at the moment there's no gain staging in this, this unit and it would be helpful to have both an, an input gain and an output gain uh, just to balance it up so you could do a proper comparative checking on it when you use it. The rest of it, to be honest, is pretty straightforward. It, it, it sounds great. I can give you some examples now. So put a bass, bass amp on. It's a rock bass, classic snare at the moment. So instead I'm going to put the 1176 on, lose that one. Compare them again. Now the great thing is you can download these and try them for yourself. Let's try the guitars now. These are just presets they come with and of course you can then go through and load your own stuff in here. Push a bit of 5k in there or something. Filter it there. Drive it. I have to say, of what, one of them that I like the most, although they're all very, very good, is Revival. This really has some nice sound to it. You just take out the, uh, the Neve star. Can I add air in there? Or warm it up as well. There's the overheads. And I'll show you on that if we just uh, for a second lose this. Hear it adding that air in there at the top. Very nice. If we want, we could put that after the compressor if we want. It's nice that they've supplied the blanking plates uh, for free. Sometimes just those little extras cost a lot of money when you're buying hardware blanking plates. So uh, that's it really, it's pretty straightforward. You can you can save what you want, there's a couple of extra features. You can create defaults for each of these, so we can come here and hit the default button, and we can set as current default, and we can also go into a different knob mode. So there's two modes, there's this mode where if you move your mouse across the knob it does that, 
and then there's this mode which is probably more for the slate consoles than it is for, for, for mouse type stuff is that now it's the knob is working as you round you put your mouse around it so uh, I'm actually old school so I prefer just to do that with a mouse but uh, whatever suits whatever floats your boat really uh, it's it's great sounding it's worth downloading the demo you can download the demo uh, five units for 149 there's two things to consider with this because does the world need any more emulations of 1176s Neve preamps SSLs and that's a good question my answer to that question is these aren't entirely the same as all the others they have certain tweaks to them uh, they have the famous Fabrice Gabriel modeling on them uh, they do sound good they are they are very nice the extra revival is, is a nice added bonus to it so I would suggest download it and try it I think it's uh, it's a great outing for a nice little rack one of the biggest bonuses for me as a Pro Tools user is that you can save your channel strips it gives you nice channel strip settings there's more and more of this coming and the great thing is as well it, this whole preset mode here it means that if I save stuff here I can then pull it into uh, Logic or Studio One or something else and, and just loading my favorites into those as well so it's giving you platform agnostic uh, presets and saving which is which got to be a bonus if you're moving between two or three different platforms I think it's worth giving a, a go download it and try it if they can give me a noise gate and also they could help with the gain staging for when I'm bypassing stuff then I suggest that would make it an even better proposition but thumbs up from us good work from Stephen and well worth checking out thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon